discussions. You are watching. You're watching. You guys are watching. You're watching. You're watching soulful discussion. So hi, how are you doing today? I'm all good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. And so how did our paths just cross today? How did we just meet? We just met. I was sitting on the bench and you just approached me. Uh huh. Uh, and I asked me to whether I'll be in your YouTube video and I said I agree. Absolutely. And what what's the YouTube video about? What are we going to talk about? It's all about the mental health and reflexology, whatever uh -huh. you told me. And a few. Okay. And now in terms of mental health, right? Are there any topics you kind of research and follow closely that you know about? Um, not much, okay. but time and again, not uh, not like you know, I'm not a complete follower follower. Okay. But I do take uh, take uh, serious the mental health. Like this, this is a trip for me. Okay. I'm a tourist out here. I've oh. come all the way from from West Virginia. Oh, nice. Okay. And this is just for my mental health. I'm sitting here since like two hours just in front of the beach. Nice. And how how you liking it here? It's nice. Nice. Pretty right. chill. Absolutely. As compared to the uh, the East Coast, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, what we're going to be talking about today in terms of mental health has to deal with like people who deal with depression and anxiety, uh -huh. not living in the moment. We're going to talk about that. I'll give you some information about it and you tell me how you feel about it, okay? Yes. Um, now, what about reflexology? Are you familiar with that? Uh, no. Okay. We'll talk about that and I'll get your thoughts on how you feel about it, okay? So, let's start with the questions, okay? Yes. First question. What's something you like that other people might find to be weird? And I'm talking about like, I'm using the term weird for a reason. So maybe like a certain way that you eat your foods, or maybe yeah. a hobby that you have that people might find strange. Mm, I don't like pizza. You don't like what? I'm sorry. I'm, I don't like pizza. Oh, you don't like pizza? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And people find it really weird. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but you know what? I think we all have things that we yeah. like and we dislike. And so, like, if you don't like yeah. pizza, I'm pretty sure you have something else that yeah, maybe you uh, like a lot. Yeah. I like burgers a lot. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and it's usually that, right? People either like cheeseburgers or yeah. they like pizza, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's true. Um, has anyone ever made you feel insecure about your body or body part before? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay, yeah. is that something you still deal with now or do you already kind of yeah, have a control? Yeah, I still deal, deal with it now. I see. Maybe not in, not, uh, not as intense. Yeah, not as much intense, but it's like, what do you say? Uh, it's indirect compliment, yeah. or what do you say? Uh, yeah. I forgot the word about it, a microaggression kind of thing. Yeah, so, absolutely, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. Absolutely, so now, what are some steps that you take to like make sure you get past it, that you keep moving forward? I don't take any steps. I mean, I love who I am, Got and it. I would not change a thing about myself for them, Okay. for those comments. I definitely take care of myself, mm -hmm. but not because someone has, you know, uh, yeah. made a remark about me, but because I want to be well myself. Absolutely. And, and so, yeah. And that's interesting because my next question was, if there was one thing you could change about yourself, uh -huh. it doesn't have to be physical, yeah. what would you change? And you said you wouldn't change anything? For myself, yeah. I would like to be more fitter. Oh, okay. I see. But okay. fit, for me, fit is not like... Not skinny or nothing not like that. Not skinny, but... You just want to be conditioned. Like, uh, yeah, absolutely. a more stamina or, yes. what do you say, more more quickness yeah, or absolutely. those kind of things. Okay, I can understand that. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's start with these questions now. Do you mind uh, if I sit down? Yeah, I, I wanted you to sit down. I was yeah. waiting for you. <laughs> um, let's get into these questions now. How do you feel about your feet? What are your thoughts? How about my what? Your feet. How do you feel about your feet? They're nice. They're tiny, but proportionate to my size. Okay, you like them, you don't like them? I like them. Okay. Uh, have you ever received any compliments about your feet? Um, not compliments, but if you see my feet are really weird. Okay, hold on. We'll we'll wait for that. Yeah. <laughs> we go by step by step, okay? Yeah. But you've never received any compliments before? No. Okay, no. okay. Um, how would you feel if you did receive a compliment? Somebody said you did have nice feet. How would you make how would it make you feel? Uh, so whatever I receive, they're not compliments, but they're just, people take notice of my feet because they're a bit different from other yeah. people. I don't feel, I don't, I'm neutral about it. I'm okay. used to it maybe. Okay. Because since, since, what day, since childhood I've been hearing those comments yeah. and I'm like, they're fine. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, now, in terms of, uh, I don't know if you're married or you're dating now. I'm dating. Okay, you're dating. Okay. Let's say that you weren't dating who you're dating now. Met somebody, that person likes you, but they're also they also like feet. How would you feel about that? Would you be okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, in terms of when you first start dating someone, 
when it, when should you talk about things that you like? I like when it's like, uh, to like learn about I, each other. I think that should be before you actually take the plunge. I got it. Okay. Before you actually uh, are exclusive, mm. you should you should make sure that the other person is on the same way same wavelength as you are Absolutely. because that's really important because once you're exclusive you are really invested in that's that it. person right and if if it doesn't work out you you are really heartbroken yeah and, that, and that's the thing that I always so it's always interesting when I ask these questions because yeah. I get different range some people are like right away yeah some people are like as we're dating some people I had one girl said like she would want to know after you're official and I'm like I feel like it's kind of late yeah. Because like now you've already invested all this time. What yeah. if you're not into that? Like, yeah. and it's like you you just used all that time for nothing. So yeah. Exactly. Um. So how often do you get pedicures? Do you ever get pedicures? No. So you keep them natural? Yep. Okay. Um. Have you ever heard of a medical pedicure? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever gone to get one done? No. Okay. So you do know like it's about like a podiatrist. They take yeah. a look at your feet. They look at your nails. Yeah. Uh, they make sure they grow correctly. Your toe alignment. They make sure yeah. that you don't have dead skin or fungus yeah. and they do all the work there. Yeah. Now, would you go see somebody like that in the future? Would you go if check them out? Only if I have a medical problem. Okay. Now, this is what podiatrists usually say, right? A lot of people wait until they have a problem and yeah. then it's too late. So, it's like, for example, if you, you're driving your car, right? And the check engine light comes on, but you keep driving it. Yeah. And you wait until, like, the car shuts down. Then you take it to somebody, yeah. right? They say so, you should go yeah. see them like every three months or so just to keep the upkeep, make sure nothing's wrong. So that's the thing. I am myself from um, the medical field. Oh, So really? I kind of know. You know. No, I know. I know when to go. Got it. Got it. That makes I, sense. I then. won't be an expert on that, but I know when to go. That makes sense. I know sense when then. something's wrong. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Um, how often do you wear like open toe shoes, sandals, flip flops? I wear uh, closed shoes okay. most, most of the time. Because you work as in the medical field. Yeah. Right? That's true, uh, but I would like to wear open open toe shoes more yeah. because it's more relaxing. Absolutely. So Absolutely. yeah. So you're enjoying this right now because you got your sandals on. You like it's all yeah, good. It's all um, good. Yeah. <laughs> how, how often do you go barefoot? Mm, I'm always barefoot at home. Okay. And uh, like I was walking on the grass right now uh -huh. on the beach. So barefoot. earthing and grounding. That's what you were doing. Yep. How did yep. how did it feel? feel really relaxing nice and that's what i always hear from everybody who um who i ask about that yeah they say afterwards they just feel relaxed and yeah. just more loose right yeah more I, down to earth yeah, yeah absolutely man that's so cool i like that yeah. um and so now can we see what your feet look like in place yeah. and just turn them this way and place them here all right and what size do you wear i wear six size six okay mm -hmm. and you're you, you you've got like a smaller foot and extend yeah. them out and let's see the bottoms Oh, okay. uh, extend them all the way. Oh, okay. Oh, your legs, like this. Okay, like this? Yeah, there you go. There you go. You have a nice arch, it looks like. Yeah. And your toe line is pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, so how are you feeling so far, this experience? How's it going? It's nice. Okay. And leave pretty, your feet out. Pretty cool. Okay, leave your feet out. We're going to go through a couple more exercises, okay? Okay. So it's feeling really cool. You're yeah. comfortable? Cool, cool. Now, let's talk about mental health, why I got started in doing this, okay? Yeah. So during quarantine, I was watching another guy's channel on YouTube. And he was talking about DBT. Are you familiar with that term? The deep pain thrombosis? Uh-uh. It's a DBT. B, no. Okay, so it's a me mental health term. It's called uh, dialectical behavioral therapy. Okay. So it's for people who suffer from anxiety, mm -hmm. depression, people who tend to like not live in the moment. Mm -hmm. So for example, like they're presented with a situation, they overthink the situation. Mm -hmm. They think about all the negative things that could happen, right? Yeah. So a therapist prescribed for them, let's say for example, you had a fear of approaching strangers, right? Mm -hmm. They would tell you to go out and approach strangers, right? Yeah. Do it over and over again, exposure therapy. Mm -hmm. Get yourself yeah. used to the uncomfortable mm -hmm. feeling that comes with it. Mm -hmm. And when you're in the middle of that moment, you feel uncomfortable, do a self-assessment, ask yourself, what's the worst that's gonna happen to me, right? If there's not anything that's gonna threaten your life or your safety, then do the opposite of what the negative emotions are telling you and proceed because you could experience like good events, good moments, things yeah. like that. What are your thoughts about that? How do you feel? I feel it's a pretty nice exercise. Mm -hmm. Maybe I would like to try it someday or yeah. definitely. Well, and, and you could, like it's just yeah. like in moments like, uh, I know for me, for example, mm -hmm. in the past with dating, mm -hmm. right? There would be times where I might see a pretty girl yeah. and in my mind, I psych myself out and yeah. I'm like, ah, Maybe she has a boyfriend. Yeah. Maybe she won't be interested. Maybe she'll think like, um, you know, yeah. uh, she might, you know, freak out or something. But 
now as I started to do this and started to practice DBT more, I started to learn that like the worst that's gonna happen is they say no. It's the yeah. absolute worst thing. And at the end of the day, if that happens, you just move forward. Yeah. You, you just keep going. And so that's what uh, I've been trying to put into practice because mm -hmm. I can go out and do this sometimes mm -hmm. and I'll get no, no, <laughs> no, no. So it's, it's for me, it's All really... All different kind of no's. Yeah, and so it's, it really tests your patience because you yeah. have to really, like, be wanting to go for the next one. So, yeah. yeah, it's a very interesting situation. So let's talk about reflexology now. Mm -hmm. Reflexology is about the different pressure points we actually have in our hands and in our feet. Mm -hmm. And like all these different pressure points and nerve endings like connect to other parts of our body. Mm -hmm. So through massage, yeah. acupuncture, acupressure, mm -hmm. you can actually alleviate stress and tension to like various parts of your body. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts about that? Have you, do you kind of, you might have heard about it before, but maybe you didn't I've, know it was reflexology. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've gone through acupressure oh, okay. and massage before, but nice. I didn't know that was reflexology. Nice. How, how was the experience? Was it good? It was good, yeah, but it was like a medical acupressure ah. and not uh, for, not specifically for feet or any relaxation kind yeah, yeah, of yeah. thing, but a medical thing, so, okay. yeah. But well, afterwards you felt better than what you felt before, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, absolutely, good, Definitely. Good. So now with that being said, we've entered this portion, how ticklish are you? How what? Ticklish. Um, uh, bear. What are you saying? Like in the middle? Five, six? Uh, or, no, I mean, uh, what part of the body? Oh, your feet. How, I'm how super ticklish. Really? Yeah. Can we test it on camera? Would you mind? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I cool. don't know. Now that you've told me that I'm, yeah. uh, uh, that you'll be tickling me, yeah. I won't. You might not be, yeah. All right. Exactly. Turn this way a little bit. Uh -huh. All right. And we're going to start with the right, and I want you to tell me where it's most sensitive at and which foot is more sensitive because one is more sensitive than the other, okay? So here we go. One, two, three, and... Oh, it seems like it's all over, right? Yeah. Okay, let's try it again, okay? Try to hold in there for five seconds, okay? One, two, three, and... No. Not so much at the top? Uh -huh. Right here in the arch? Yeah, yeah, nice. Okay, no. let's try your left. Okay. And I want you to tell me where, okay? One, two, three. Okay, in the arch. This one's more? Yeah, right. this one's more. This one's more. Yeah. Are you left-handed? No, I'm right-handed. You're right-handed. Interesting. All right, now I want you to try something for me, right? Wiggle your toes here, and then tell me if it's more or less. It's less, less, right? Less. Do you know why? No. Your foot's in motion. The muscles yeah. are moving. So it can't pick up on the sensations that's yeah. good. So this is always a trick I tell women when they go get pedicures. Like, if you, you're too ticklish yeah. with, with the pumice stone, mm -hmm. wiggle your toes a little bit, and it'll uh, alleviate the tension that you're feeling. Yeah. All right, let's try right here. Wiggle. All right. Less. Right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Like cool, cool. Now let me get you to do a couple exercises mm -hmm. to test if you have any ligament or bone damage, okay? Okay. Now bend your toes over, make a fist, tell me if there's any pain or discomfort from that. Bend your toes. Pain, discomfort, is it easy to do, hard to do? This is the maximum I can do. Okay, but uh, is it easy to do? Yeah, it's easy. Relax. Spread your toes, tell me if you feel any pain or discomfort. Easy? Yeah, easy. Relax. Wiggle your toes for about 10 seconds. Tell me if you feel any pain or discomfort. Easy to do? Yeah. Okay, relax. All right, so let's wrap up the interview now. Yep. In terms of my approach, coming over to you, asking you to do the interview, was it good, was it bad? What were your thoughts? Mm, you could improve on first telling uh, what the video is about mm. and then approaching. So, okay, yeah. okay. So you thought it was good? Yeah, it was good. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. Now, in terms of the interview from start to finish, mm -hmm. did you see how everything was going in the line? Did yeah. it make sense to you? Did you learn anything new? Uh, reflexology, mm -hmm. uh, though it was about reflexology, but it was a bit out of the place. Okay. For some reason, like, uh, you, we were talking about mental health, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden the reflexology came in, yeah. and I could not understand why both of those. Oh, because those are the three. So it starts with... We're talking about feet, yeah. go to mental health. We yeah. feel like the, all the questions I'm asking you as we yeah. go along yeah. are mental health and tied to see how you feel about yeah. it. The interview is designed for each like each exercise we go through. Are you still comfortable? So that's part yeah. of the mental health too. Are you dealing with anxiety? Yeah. I ask you how you're feeling, things mm -hmm. like that. The reflexology I put in because to me it's very interesting to learn yeah. about because like a lot of people don't know that there's a way to like cure different things in your body without like medicine, mm -hmm. things like that sometimes. Make so sense. like yeah, if you have small problems, sometimes you can just massage and yeah. it'll it'll go, it'll go away. away. Yeah. So now the last thing I'll have you do in terms of a mental health standpoint, mm -hmm. a life lesson maybe you learned, some wise words somebody said to you that you can mm -hmm. say to my channel to be helpful. Life lesson. Mm -hmm. I would say, just be happy alone. Just 
just learn to be happy alone you should not need anyone else absolutely i am here i am i've come all the way from west virginia no I west have, virginia <laughs> i have friends out here but i am all alone in the city and just roaming but you're enjoying city. i'm enjoying you're out, a lot you're like you're, you're seeing new things yes. and you're just enjoying the experience absolutely that's so good like uh, and i'm glad thank you so much for doing the interview yes. i appreciate you mm -hmm. and we hope that you have a great one okay yeah thank you